Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these Hormel square table meals. This one is the roasted chicken breast with rib meat and gravy. It is a premium boneless skinless chicken breast, um, 21 grams of protein per serving, no preservatives, no artificial colors or flavors, no artificial ingredients, BPA free tray. Um, America's number one selling entree. Uh, let's see, it's keep refrigerated. This is a refrigerated meal. Um, this one is 15 ounces or 425 grams. This is a bigger meal. It's made for more of a, I don't know, a main entree if you're eating dinner at night. Um, bought this at Walmart. It was $6.84. I'm sure they sell them other places too, but that just happened to be where we bought it. Um, let's see. One serving is one chicken breast with gravy is and there's three servings in the container 142 grams is 110 calories eat the whole package it's 330 which i don't think that's bad three chicken breasts for 330 that's about it all um there's your other info um there's some suggestions of what you could do Ooh, open face sandwich that sounds good put it on some toast or something that'd be good so you can do it in the stove top if you want to of course we're not gonna do that but you can if you want we're gonna do it in the microwave so we're gonna remove the outer sleeve and place the vacuum sealed tray in the microwave. Do not pierce or vent the film. Um, cool, heat on high for three to four minutes or until hot. Self venting film expands as it heats. It'll get a really big tall bubble on the top of it. Um, once it's done, let it sit for two minutes. Peel back corner carefully because it will be hot. Be lots of steam in there and enjoy. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, you lay that in there, the bubble in the microwave will be like this high and then you'll hear it go pew like it'll it'll bust on the side it'll vent and then the bubble will go down this side so it sounds like it passes a little gas in your microwave so, so anyway it's exciting um so i'm gonna get this in the microwave for i'll probably do three and a half and uh, i'll be back okay so here it is out of the microwave and the pieces the the picture they showed they're a little more brown than this they're they're slightly brown you can see it comes right apart though that's that's good it just it's very very tender chicken so i'm going to Probably cut up this piece of chicken, get it in this gravy really good, and um, take it over the table. We'll try it out. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. Um, I did cut it up a little bit just to make it easier to eat. The smell of this reminds me of Hormel makes a like a shelf stable meal, the one you don't have to refrigerate, you just stick it on the in the cabinet. Um, that's like chicken and rice. They also have one that's like um, um, chicken and dumplings. This gravy kind of reminds me of the smell of those meals, which I like those meals, so that's not a bad thing necessarily, but um, that's that's what that reminds me of. It's probably, if I had to guess, it's probably the same gravy, the seasonings and stuff that's in that meal as well. Flavor's a little different. It's not quite as, um, not quite as salty as the shelf stable version. Um, it's got a better and it's like a little a lot of chicken flavor, chicken broth kind of flavor. I'll tell you what, the chicken, all of it is super, super tender. Very, uh, very soft. I mean, you could, if you didn't have teeth, you could eat this. Let's put it that way. You could gum this to death if you wanted to. It's that tender, um, which some people might be doing. Um, yeah, just really, really tender chicken. I'm impressed with how tender that is actually because a lot of times you get these frozen dinners and the chicken is really dry, dried out and like almost hard, um, firm, dried up little pieces of chicken. This is not, this is really um, a really good moist piece of chicken. Let me try a different slice of chicken. Let's see if it's any different. The gravy adds to that um, moisture level, but um, that's not what makes the chicken so tender though. The other piece is the exact same way. So, pretty good. The um, the gravy itself is not really like like super seasoned. Like it doesn't have any um, like garlic or onion that I can taste. Um, it'd be nice if it had some onion powder, garlic powder, some some other savory seasons seasonings in there to like bring out the flavor a little bit more. I would love to have seen some like cooked chopped onions in here, that would have been really good. Um, overall though, it's really good. If you're gonna have this as a, if you're gonna have it for lunch, that's a good size lunch. You get three chicken breasts for 330 calories. Can't beat that, that's really good. Um, and there's plenty of food here. If you want it as an entree like you're gonna eat for dinner, 
Um, you probably want to share this with somebody probably um, and have a side dish, maybe um, maybe a stuffing or a macaroni and cheese or mashed potatoes or green beans or some corn, whatever. Um, just another side dish and split this in half and I think that'll be plenty of food as well. But I think it's really good. It does, if, if I'm gonna eat it for dinner or if I finish eating this, I'll probably put some nature seasoning on this, um, which I'm gonna eat the rest of it. Uh, but I'm gonna put some nature seasoning on there just to elevate the spices a little bit because then it's like my little more savory. But um, I think it's good. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I really do like the quality of the chicken and the gravy itself is really good. Super, super moist, super tender chicken. Um, really easy to make, I'll, I like it. And the price, I think the price is pretty decent for what you get. So yeah, I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.